How's it going guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to reverse a string in Java. So this is a pretty good question to go over just because I find that it's a pretty common interview question that people get. So as a problem description it says write a function that takes a string as input and returns the string reversed. So as a quick example if we're given the string s which contains the characters hello we just need to return the string o-l-l-e-h. So your interviewer is probably trying to see if you know whether or not strings are immutable in Java, which they are. So the first thing that we need to address is how can we change the string so that we can actually mutate it. And so I think the easiest way to do that is basically just convert this string to a character array. So we could do that pretty easily in one line by just saying character array, we'll call it characters, and we'll set that equal to s.2 care array. So now we need to figure out our actual algorithm. So I think the easiest way to do this is have two pointers. So one pointer will start at the left side of the string and another pointer will start at the right side of the string. So what we could do is we could basically just swap the characters at each of those pointers and then increment one pointer and decrement the other pointer. And once they meet, we will have, you know, hopefully successfully reversed the entire string. So to do that, let's make two pointers, i, which will start at zero, and j, which will start at s dot length minus one because arrays are zero based indexed. So now just to make sure we could do this throughout the entire string, we'll have a while loop while i is less than j, we'll do something. And all we're gonna do is reverse the characters stored at the ith index and the jth index, or swap them, sorry. So to do that, we first store a temporary variable, which will just hold the ith character. Then we'll set the ith character equal to the jth character. And then we'll set the jth character equal to the temporary variable that held the previous ith character. So now, just to make sure we don't go into an infinite loop, we just need to make sure that we increment i and decrement j. So now all we, we should have to do is return the new string, which we can give by passing the character array that we just mutated. And so now if we submit our solution, we see that we've actually passed all the test cases. And if we jump over here, we can see that we passed 476 out of 476 test cases, and we are in the 93rd percentile in terms of runtime. So that's how you reverse a string in Java.